Hey guys, so today I am showing you my nail polish organization. It's not going to be a full collection review, but if there's anything that you see in this video that you want a more in-depth review of, then just let me know in the comments below. So I'm just going to show you how I store my polishes, how I arrange them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, how I keep track of which is which on my computer, what I have in my Excel sheet and all that good stuff. So if you want to see what this crazy lady is hoarding in her closet, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is my closet, and this is where I keep my nail polish collection. Um, I have four racks, and the ones you're looking at right now, they are all China Glaze. So China Glaze is probably what I collect the most of. They just have the most fun, interesting colors. Ironically, I have so much um, pink and red over there and I actually don't really wear that much pink and red, but a lot of polish companies have a lot of pink and red, so that's what happens. And then, so as you move in here, you've got uh, one rack of OPI. So I have more room for China Glaze because I know I'm gonna be filling that up and then um, my OPI is going to spill over onto there if it needs to I suppose but I don't buy as much OPI because their price tag is a little bit higher so anyway and just to put things in perspective you're going to see a lot of nail polish today but here are my shoes I have what one two three four five pairs of shoes <laughs> that aren't flip-flops or tennis shoes so yeah I mean I have a lot of nail polish but there's some things that I go without because I know I have um, a lot of a certain thing so anyway okay so down below the polish racks I have three Helmers you can get these at Ikea they are six drawers each and the reason that they're so good for um, for storing your polish is because the size of the drawer is just right um, height wise you're not wasting too much space like you are with other drawers with um, your polish not being tall enough to fill up the whole drawer so I basically just took craft paper and covered the front drawers just to make them more interesting for me as you can see you can probably tell the one on the far right is the oldest one because the papers are coming off and then it goes newer that way and then um, the containers on the top are just um, what I do is when I'm not swatching a collection, I just um, swatch my polishes that don't belong to a particular collection and um, I have them like ready to swatch in these so I can just pick up a container and go um, swatch it when I have some time free. And um, this monstrosity over here that is not um, organized in any way is the reason that I haven't shown my collection because um, I'm kind of like very particular about <clears throat> my polish organization these ones are all organized but um, they have also all been swatched and um, had photographs taken of them and featured on my blog and everything over here is waiting to have that done so um, when I first get my polishes I like to swatch them on a nail wheel so this bag is all full of my nail wheels not very organized but um, they are organized by um, brand so like this one you're not gonna be able to see that let's see da, 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 da. still not being able to see it anyway it says simple colors but so each of these has a different um, they I'll probably just show you a close-up picture of this but they all have numbers on them around here and then I have an Excel sheet that has all of my polishes on it so I can find it so I can just be like Oh, this is Sinful Colors number 40 or whatever, and then I can go look up and see what it is. So that's how I organize that portion. I'm just going to show you the drawers really quick. Um, we'll just start over here. Right, so this is the Sally Hansen drawer. You have your extreme wares and then 
um, the Insta Dries, and then the oh, I have uh, some of the older bottles in there too. Those are from a long time ago. So anyway, all the different kinds of Sally Hansen are in here, and that's a heavy drawer. <laughs> Maybe I should put that one on the bottom. All right, so this is a Wet and Wild drawer. Um, I do try out a lot of the Wet and Wild so that I can tell you if it's good because the price tag is so small that I think if you can get a Wet and Wild um, instead of something much more expensive, like the recent one I found was um, was it this one? Here comes Trouble by Wet and Wild. This one just was released, and it's like an exact dupe for. Um, what is it? The, the Essie one. I just reviewed on my channel. So it's like a dollar or an Essie polish that costs eight to nine dollars that is not a good formula. So I like to try them out. What I'm trying to say is that, but um, I end up usually giving most of them away just because um, a lot of them I don't really care for, so I just give them away. But the ones that I like, I keep. This is NYC on the right and Pure Ice on the left. Um, yeah, I give some NYCs away. Pure Ice I find to be pretty consistently good quality, so um, that's pretty much all the Pure Ice I have. I haven't really um, gifted those away, but as you're going to see, there's um, some over in that situation over there that hasn't been swatched yet. Next drawer is, oh, this is all my Revlon, so you've got the perfumed ones in the front, some of the color stays, and then the older ones in the back. Um, I like to give these ones away, the older ones. I don't, um, the, let's see, what am I talking about when I say older ones? This bottle, um, the top speed, and then the, just the regular ones. Some of them seem to be going bad, so I either give them away or I just toss them. The ones that I've had for a few years that were maybe on the shelves a little too long. Okay, this drawer is... Alright, this one's a little bit of a grab bag of different stuff I've got from online sites. So, this is Sation. I love Sation. I don't buy it very often because um, I just don't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really do love Sation. Barrielle has some good polishes, but I run into a lot of um, not so good ones. So, I only have a few of them, the rest of I've just gotten rid of after I've tried them. Misa, um, I really love Misa. I could, I would own more of them in a heartbeat, but it's just another one that I just don't buy that often. Um, Nina Ultra Pro, you can find those at Sally. I really like those. This is a more polish. This is a really inexpensive brand if you have a polish lover starting out and you want to get them um, a wide range of colors. The only thing is, is it seems like the polishes go bad kind of quickly or something, I don't know. But I haven't really correct, collected very many of them because um, after a short time, it just seemed like, see what I mean? Like, I know polishes separate, but they just, they're harder, they're hard for me to mix back up after that. And then there's some Savina in the back. And those ones kind of don't mix up very well either. So, I don't know what's up with that, but I just have a few of those. Oh. This one is like the brightest orange I've ever seen in my life. That one's called Orange Blast by Savina. Moving along. Bottom drawer is Ulta polishes. Um, Ulta had like their polishes for a dollar one day a year ago or something. So I pretty much own every single one of them. And they just are over in that Tupperware over there that isn't swatched yet. But these are all the ones I've swatched. And I really do like their polishes. They are pretty nice. Um, I wouldn't pay the full price that they normally are at at Ulta. So my suggestion to you is to wait for those really nice sales. Over there on the right, that's the Spoiled line. Um, that's the one that's put out by Wet n Wild. I also really like them. And you can often find them for $0.99 cents at CVS. So... They're also really good if you are just starting out with polish and you want to have a wide variety of colors. Over here in the bottom we have, oh, I have two sinful colors drawers. Um, yeah, I pretty much suggest sinful colors over many other brands. They are budget friendly. They almost always have a good formula. 
and they come out with a wide range of colors and formulas so I just think that they're the most cost effective maybe not the most fun to collect like because they don't I mean OPI and China Glaze and some of those other brands come out with really fun collections and displays and stuff but <clears throat> anyway I really like them and they are inexpensive and here's the second drawer of them and that includes some simple shines and the silver ones are the the texture polishes like the um, like the candy glistening ones the thing about these um, shelves I want to mention is you can't like pull out the drawer and just leave it on the end it'll bust it's not that sturdy so and you do have to build these yourself just so you know if you're planning on picking them up but they're about they're between like 35 and 40 dollars depending on if they're ever on promotion at IKEA Whoa, and see they nice and slide forward for you this is my Orly drawer um, I think there are still some Orleys over there to the left that I haven't swatched yet but this is probably the majority of the Orleys that I own I really do like Orly um, I think that they are pretty good quality they just are one of the um, brands that are a little bit higher priced so I usually only pick them up if I find them on sale this is my color club drawer and it's probably going to be getting filled up because I think I do have more polishes over there to the left and um, yeah I really started picking color club up a lot because at Ross a couple years ago they were having color club sets um, that were like eight dollars for seven polishes or six polishes or whatever it was and so it was a really good deal and color club is a great brand and they have amazing colors so anyway color club love them let me sit back up on my knees here birdhouse drawer is okay so this is my randoms drawer that i don't have really enough of each one to put in their own drawer so, um, my Bonita Salon are here in the front. These are these ones that I've been reviewing for you lately that are really good. You can find them at Rite Aid. And then I have just like three NYX polishes. These are basically the ones that I've tried just a few of and then I haven't got any more of. Um, I have these Cosmetic Arts polishes. If you run across these, pick them up. They're really great. I found them at Ross one time and I haven't found them since. I just have a few um, Butter London polishes that I found on sale somewhere. They're a little bit out of my price range for the kind of polish hoarding that I like to do. Some Layla polishes. Oh, that goes over there. Those ones are nice. Um, I've only tried these three because they were on sale, but they, um, yeah, they're nice quality. One of my favorite brands is the Spa Ritual brand, but they um, are a little too pricey. Basically, what you're seeing here is some of the pricier polishes that I picked up, I guess, um, that I just can't really afford to splurge on all the time. I have a Model Zone polish. Um, oh, Colt Nails. I have a few of those. I really love Colt Nails. So, anyway, this one's just kind of a grab bag. As you can see in the back there, I've got some Julie G. I love Julie G polishes. Essence. Um, LA Girl. What is this? Oh, that's the Salon Perfect polish. Just have a few of those. So, yep. Yeah. That's the random drawer. Sorry if my camera got a little wonky. As you can see, this is the Nicole by OPI drawer. This is also another uh, polish that I don't buy unless I find it on sale. Actually, I should restate. I pretty much don't ever buy polish unless I find it on sale, unless it's like a $2 polish, like simple colors or wet and wild. That's just how I do it. That's just how I prefer. It just makes it so I can try more brands and formulas. But anyway, as you can see there's some core line stuff I have there's I picked up a lot of stuff when they were on they were clearancing stuff out at Kmart so you'll see Modern Family in there Selena Gomez and there's a bunch of the Kardashian colors in there so anyway that's that this drawer top one is Zoya's I love Zoya but you can hardly ever find them on sale but when you do I pick them up I have some of the old Rimmels and then over there is the new Rimmels and I really like the Rimmels. Those are great. And they are pretty budget friendly. And this drawer is kind of like my drugstore brand, or my drugstore. Okay. <laughs> this drawer, that's hard to say, is my drugstore drawer. Wow. 
Left is Maybelline's and right is L'Oreal and then the back is Milani. This one has my julep. I was a julep maven for like two years or three years and I would like skip every single box just so I could see what they were doing. Um, I don't subscribe to them anymore because I think that they're overpriced for their how much product you get in one of these tiny little things. However, oh that happens to be a separated one so it's not giving you a very good idea. But I do think that they're a nice quality of polish. Um, so anyway, I just think that they're too pricey. These are Avon polishes. Woo! Um, I used to pick those up a, like a year or so ago. And they have some fun collections. I just haven't really seen anything from them that looks interesting lately. This one is my Essie drawers. You can see not very many. In fact, before like a month ago, I think there was only like three in there. And then my husband picked me up some Essies to try. So and this is the old Sephora by OPI or not collection of course just a few of them that I've probably found at like Marshalls and stuff and this one oh this is my elf drawer it's gonna get filled up because as you can see over here there's a lot of elf polishes in there um, I pretty much picked up all of them <laughs> over the course of a year I think when I was getting them for 50% off so they were like a dollar and then I have some Jordana um, yeah, I used to try a lot of Jordana polishes. I don't really care for them that much, actually. They're just kind of bleh, so I've given a lot of them away and just kept some of the more interesting ones. And this bottom one is my finger paint drawer. You can find this at Sally Beauty. Sometimes some of the polishes that they have on their clearance um, can be like these random weird, like, yellow-green metallic. <laughs> so weird but you know I kind of like weird stuff but anyway but lots of times what I'm trying to say is you'll find really great finds so I have a bunch of those because they get clearance down to like $1.50 at Sally's sometimes oops I got a little thing stuck in there so all right this situation over here I think I have this somewhat organized I think it's like what I wanted to swatch first then next then next but um it's pretty bad so basically um yeah even right here in the front I have one that's popped a little bit these are a lot of just like when I've picked up like dollar polishes or whatever and then if I picked them up at too big like too many at a time I didn't end up getting them all swatched so then they go in here and I need to do them later so there's a lot of sinful colors in here there's a lot of spoiled in here I found this brand at Walmart or not Walmart at Ross one time and JLB and I tried one or two they were like they did the same thing where it was like you get eight for like four or five dollars or something so I wanted to give them a try and let you know if they were good but I didn't end up getting it done so anyway and they were interesting shape too so what I'm trying to say is they aren't horrible and so um, I wanted to be able to recommend them to you if you see them and they had this whole metallic line JLB I don't even really know what that is but a triple shine in here so basically everything in here it's all been swatched on my nail wheels and I've seen if they're like really good or kind of crappy and if they were decent I put it in here to be swatched and photographed but actually I like to photograph stuff that is crappy too so that you can see but anyway so I've got some Maybelline color shows this is just too crazy to even try to show you what's in here but <laughs> so yeah that's how deep the drawers go I know I'm so silly so anyway but like how my brain works is like eventually I'm going to get these photographed <laughs> alright so here's my Ulta drawer I told you I bought a lot of Ulta one time I think I just like cleaned them out one day um, so yeah there's a lot of Ulta in here there's pure ice there's an there's a couple more brands that I found randomly at Ross's this Vernus classique by Cher Moya I don't know there's um, some NYC's in here. There is, so oh, there's a L'Oreal over here. It looks like there's um, some clean color polishes in there too, which um, when I first started collecting, my son, he's so cute, he's nine, but at that time he was like six or seven, and he, for Christmas, he got me like a hundred polishes off of 
Amazon or whatever when they were like 50 cents. So I have a lot of clean color, but I'm not a lot swatched because I don't care for them as much. All right, this one's a little bit less full. As you can see, I'm slowly making my way through this one. Like I said, this is a lot of Elf. Um, there's an Orly. There's a Sally Hansen. I need to get through these drawers. I just don't have enough time to do it, so like this awesome bright orange from finger paints. I gotta find out what that's about. So, yes, now you've seen why I haven't put up my collection video. I just, I kept telling myself, I'm gonna wait until, oh, a tiny little rimmel. I kept telling myself, I'm gonna wait until I have it all swatched, and then it'll all be organized, but then I came to realize that's never gonna happen. So this last Tupperware up at the top, it has um, a lot of my China Glaze that's still unswatched and my OPIs. And, um, yeah, some simple colors in there, Nicole by OPIs. So, yeah, <laughs> I just need to swatch them. If you want a full, like, OPI collection or full China Glaze collection or whatever full, you know, I'll pull out from, from these drawers to get what it is that's not on my shelves yet to show you. But for right now, that's where they're living. So, anyway, and then, um... Yeah, I have a box of, um, here's where my minis are living right now because I don't have anywhere to go. And then I have a box of stuff for giveaways and to um, just let my friends go through and stuff like that. And that is living under my pants over here to the left, so I'm not going to show you that. But anyway, so yeah, that's the whole collection there. Lives back in my closet. It's so nice and cozy back here. Anyway, um... I have another video I'll probably put up that is my travel um, polish organization. Um, it's for if I'm going to do somebody's nails or also it's just how I like to keep it at my desk because it keeps my kids out of it because I have, you know, the acetone and everything in here. I keep this room locked up so they can't get any of this stuff, but the stuff that I like to keep out, I have um, a good way to keep it safe from kids. So I will save that for the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything you want to see more in depth. And I will see you back next time. Bye!